really cool clone. I won't go into all the details about it except to say that from a winemaker's standpoint, as far as Cabernet is concerned, it's a beautiful, beautiful grape because it's none of the grapes, it's such a scraggly cluster that none of the grapes actually touch each other. So as, as a winemaker, that's one of the things you're constantly looking at in the vineyard is how, how fruit sits on top of each other. Because if it's touching in a whole bunch of different spots, it doesn't ripen as uniformly as, as you'd like to see. Cab 6 is always ripens uniformly and always gives us a really concentrated uh, berry. It's about <laughs> the size of a blueberry. It's really small. A couple seeds per grape, which is nice because most have about four. And um, I constantly point out the yield because uh, it doesn't set a big crop, even in really good years like this past year, which was a good crop set year for Cabernet. It didn't have a lot. It's about a ton and a half per acre. Um, mm. So from an economic standpoint, it's not it's not the favorite, but from a, from a winemaker standpoint, it is. And uh, I think we'll have a chance to taste uh, some of the, the Duterte, which is our limited production cab, and it's made from the Clone 6 from the terraces here, which we call Bloque Rico, um, and also from uh, up above where we started on Bradford Mountain, there's some as well. Um, back to the Petit Verdot. It's, uh, as you guys can tell by tasting it, um, it's, it's a pretty rich wine, and, and Petit Verdot and Malbec, at least for our program, I depend on those to give us a little bit of clout in the middle of the wines. Um, it can give a little bit of spice on the, on the finish, but Cab Franc is really the, the beast that'll, that'll give us that, and that's one of the aspects I like to see in our Cabernets, both the Estate Cab, which is the workhorse of Schlumberger, and also the Duterte. So, um, when you guys are finished with that, let me know, and we'll go on to the, the Malbec and finish with the Cab Franc.